Day by day, the Palestine problem looms larger on the agenda of the United Nations Security Council meeting at Lake Success. Mr. Warren Austin, the American delegate, has stressed the need for an early agreement, while the British delegate, Mr. Creech Jones, has insisted on the withdrawal of our troops by August the 1st. Meanwhile, from many parts of Europe, the long trek of the displaced persons goes on. Refugee ships carrying illegal immigrants continue their efforts to run the blockade and reach the Palestine shores. As always, the living quarters are badly overcrowded in ramshackle craft quite unfitted for voyages of this kind. Nearer to the hoped for destination, but everyone ducks out of sight as a plane comes into view. Hatches are covered while the danger lasts, and later there's another crisis when the ship runs into bad weather. Long weeks of misery reach their climax with this new ordeal, and the sight of a British destroyer barring the way comes almost as a relief. Half suffocated, the refugees swarm on deck for fresh air and await the arrival of a boarding party from the destroyer. Most of the refugees are calm, but a few defiantly reveal the ship's real name. Destination Cyprus, but for the future, only the United Nations can decide. <laughs> 